I'm Fiona Harewood and I'm here to tell you why I chose the topic how to break the silence of abuse and what it means to me. Being a three-time survivor of domestic violence, it wasn't hard deciding on this topic for the Comeback Champion Summit. So I chose how to break the silence of abuse. My personal experience drives my passion for helping victims of abuse rise above their circumstances and find healing. Due to what I suffered, I've developed a heartfelt passion to equip others who are in abusive relationships. And I challenge those who know not abuse to steer clear and be an encouragement to the abused. For several years, I went from one toxic relationship to another. People ask me, why? Didn't you see the signs? Of course I did see the signs. But you've heard the saying, love is blind. I followed my heart and turned a blind eye and swept the issues under the carpet. And sometimes when we follow our heart, we may not always end up where we expect it. From my experience, I have a first-hand knowledge of the pain, fears, anxiety, and doubts of those suffering under the dark cloud of abuse. What I've learned, I choose to share because I prefer teach life skills of survival or steering clear of abuse as opposed to having people take that horrific journey themselves. That's one of the reasons I chose to share this topic at the Comeback Champion Summit. Many times I cry when watching the news or reading articles of victims, particularly women who were harmed or killed by their abusers. For the most part, people I don't even know. But I've decided I can do more than just cry. I can show victims of abuse how to break the silence of abuse. I can show the abuser that he or she needs help because for someone to abuse their loved ones, it has to be a mental or spiritual issue. Nobody in their right minds would continuously hurt someone they claim to love. Thank God I'm alive to help someone else rise above their circumstances and rewrite their life story like I was able to rewrite mine. Seeing people delivered means the world to me. Now, a little about the topic, domestic violence. Leslie Morgan Steiner said, abuse thrives in silence. Domestic violence is taboo. And although it is prevalent amongst the rich, poor, old, young, and is present in every nation and race, people don't discuss it. Further, it is clearly no respecter of persons and can present itself through the CEO, managers, co-workers on your jobs, pastors, deacons, elders, church members, as well as in many forms, physically, emotionally, sexually, verbally, even financially, to name a few. Domestic violence robs children of their parents and like a thief in the night, it steals our loved ones. Yet with all the damages this pandemic has wreaked and still is wreaking in our world today, society continuously cloaks domestic violence in an oath of silence. And yes, society, it's people. People make up society and our credentials have nothing to do with it when it comes to domestic violence. If you are an abuser, seek professional, mental and spiritual help. If you are a victim, identify the source of your problem, seek help, accept empowerment, believe in yourself and rise above your circumstances. You can start now by claiming your seat at the Comeback Champion Summit at www.comebackchampionsummit.com. 
See you at the summit.